No, but that's where comedy comes from. Have you ever wondered where a comedian gets his material? Anybody wonder? Yeah. It's real simple. I don't have a job. <laughs> so I sit around all week watching y'all do stupid stuff. <laughs> On the weekend, you buy a ticket, I stand here, tell you what you did. <laughs> it's really that simple. Couple examples, you think these are made up, but these happened. Uh, I was on my way down to Florida. I'm, I'm from Atlanta, so I'm driving down to Florida for a show and stopped in a place called Tifton, Georgia for lunch. And they sat me next to these four old codgers. You know them. They're the four guys that are retired and they get together every day and solve all the problems of the world, right? <laughs> well, today's subject was Walmart versus Kmart as Walmart being the better store. So the leader took over. He goes, well, shoot. Everybody in town likes Walmart better. Go by there any time, day or night. Look at the parking lot. Walmart's always half full. Kmart's half empty. <laughs> Spit food out of my mouth. <laughs> then they offered him a job. He goes, yep, yep, yep. They want me to be a Walmart greeter. Offer me $200 a week. I said, oh, no. I don't leave the house for less than $500 a month. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's a great source of material. Um, does anybody else here have parents like I do that never really caught on to the electronic age? Like, yeah, you show my mom a universal remote, <laughs> she will drop like one of those fainting goats on YouTube. You ever see those things? <laughs> well, we finally taught her how to tape on VHS. You fight the battles you can win, okay? <laughs> I, I showed up at her house one day and let myself in. She goes, hey, mom, I'm here. And she's in the corner like, shh. I'm taping Matlock. <laughs> <sighs> Mom tried to help me out with the Super Bowl a couple years ago. NFL fans? Any NFL fans? Well, I'm from Atlanta, so it's not always easy. But you may or may, may not remember this, but two years ago in the Super Bowl, the Falcons blew the largest lead in Super Bowl history. Remember, 28 to 3 in the third quarter, and we lost. Well, on that day, I was getting off a ship in Belize. My route home was Belize to Jamaica, Jamaica, Miami, Miami to Atlanta. It was a 12-hour commute. My mom, her job's taping the game. My job, don't hear the score. <laughs> What's the one thing you see in every airport? <laughs> TVs. Y'all, I did it. I don't know how, but I did it. Uh, it, it just earplugs and blinders, I don't know, but I got home, it's like 1 a.m. I get over to her house. I guess I got a little snarky, I upset her. I was going, Mom, please tell me you didn't mess up. Please tell me you taped the game. She goes, yes, I did, Mr. Smarty Pants. Here you go. I was like, oh, thank you. Then she looked at me and goes, but you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs>